This is the entrance way into Thixon Woods. This gives you some idea of what the trail system looks like. Very covered over by fallen leaves right now. Here's some of the tall white pines. And that's one of the trees that the great horned owl chooses to live around. They don't nest in holes. They nest on the brows of the green, the evergreens. These are chickadees, black capped chickadees. Red-breasted nuthatch. They'll uh, make noise day or night, especially this time of year. This is kind of pair up time. Uh, naturally, the dog starts. You, you can hear the great horn dog calling now. That's the other one answering. There's a good front view. They've been calling each other. Hi kids, I'm back at home now. Walter and I picked up two great horned owl pellets and I'm just going to open them now and see what kind of things we find inside. This will tell us a little bit about what it's been eating. I may not be able to recognize the bones but I can already see there's some quite large ones in there.
Here I have the two pellets separated. I've pulled apart the first pellet. Can't recognize a lot. It looks felt, looked and felt a lot just like furry bits and feathery bits. But the one rather long one, this one here, it seems like a whole vertebrae of possibly a, a mouse. You can sort of see it. This is the contents of the second pellet. As you can see, there was a lot of different little bones in there. I'd say they range in size from about a centimeter to maybe four and a half centimeters, maybe six. Somewhere around two and a half inches is the biggest one. Some again, to me, look like vertebrae. The large pieces at the bottom of the pitcher. Off to the side you can see all of the feathery and pellets that are in that bunch. The This piece here is connected by some kind of cord and it will move if I can do it and not mess up the camera too much. Here you can see they don't come apart at all. It's connected by something. So, that's the best I can do for you. There's a good chance that might be part of a rabbit. I'm going to keep all these and give them to somebody who will know what they're looking at and see what they think. If I get answers, I'll be sure and let you know. I hope you find this useful, kids. Bye-bye for now.